Now, more than ever, America is in dire need for a great awakening. And that awakening can't come soon enough. There's a great awakening coming in America! Somebody show us an answer. We are in need of a savior. Show us the power for life, power for life. We need your power for life, power for life. God wants to release awakening and revival in America and around the nations of the earth today. And you can be a spark for that revival. You can be anointed by God to be an instrument of awakening in this hour. I want you to stay with me for the whole show today as we capture the heart of God for what He's doing in the nation of America and in the nations around the world, releasing revival and awakening and touching your life today. That even in this nation, you will hear the sound of the roar of the lion over and throughout the land. The Lord says there's coming a sound and there's coming a roar from heaven. The Lord says I will even cause those that are in chains, I will even cause the chains to begin to rattle and the chains to begin to shake. For the Lord says there's coming, there's coming a sound from heaven that will cause those in bondage to be delivered. For even now I am poised and ready over the land. Even now I am poised and ready over the nation. And the Lord says, get ready, people. Get ready, church. There's a shaking, there's a shaking. There's a trembling coming. There's a trembling coming. For the people will see a great light. The people who sit in darkness will see a great light. For the Lord says, my name will be glorified in this land. For the Lord says, this nation is my nation. And the Lord says, this land is my land. And those who sit in darkness will see a great light and they will come running to the light. And I say, get ready, church. Get ready, church. It's the hour of awakening. Get ready, church. It's the hour of great awakening. For my glory in the midst of great darkness, I say, my people, do not be terrified by the darkness. Do not be terrified by the darkness. For know that my glory is greater than the darkness and my glory will overcome the darkness and even though this night I will cause my glory to arise and shine upon you I will cause my light to be seen upon you and the people will say surely surely we have seen a great light And I declare tonight, change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. But it's my change, says the Lord. It's my change, says the Lord. And I say even this night, as I've called you to this place, I call you to release my sound. Release my sound, release my sound, release my name, release my name, release my name, my name, my name, my name. My name. Yeah. Yeah. Father, we commit 2012 into your hands. Father, we commit the elections this year into your hands. Father, we commit our families, our jobs, our workplaces. Lord, we commit everything into your hands tonight for safekeeping. For safekeeping. 
Father, we pray for every government official tonight that their hearts would be in your hands and you would turn their hearts like you turn the heart of a king. You would turn their hearts, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, tonight we stand in the gap for America. We stand in the gap, Lord. And Father, as your people, we pray that you would wash over and cleanse America in this hour. Father, we pray that you would forgive the sins of the nation. And God, we pray that you would hear the prayer of your people. Hear the prayer of your people. In the name of Jesus. Father, let our lives be constant prayers to you. Let our lives be constant prayers to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, the way you live can save a nation. God said that if he could find 10 righteous, he would not pour out his wrath on a city lost in darkness. If he would only find 10 righteous there, it would hold back his wrath. I tell you, the way you live, the way you personally live, collectively comes together with the body of Christ to form a hedge of protection. And Lord, I pray tonight that the hedge would go up around America. Come on, church. Pray the hedge goes up around America. Pray that any openings in the walls would be closed in Jesus' name. Come on now. Intercessors arise right now. Lord, we pray. Hedge in. Hedge in, Holy Spirit. Hedge in, God. We declare America one nation under God. We declare America is a Christian nation. We declare we use our voice and we proclaim it into the realm of the Spirit. We use our judicial authority in the courts of heaven. And as your people, God, we declare that America is one nation under the true God, Jesus Christ. Let it be, Lord. And let the hedge go up. Let the hedge be strengthened in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let the church arise and shine. Let the church arise and shine in this hour, God. Let our voice not be silenced, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ha. God has given you a voice, church. He's given you a voice. You got to use it. It's your instrument. Your voice is your instrument. Ha. It's how you decree. It's how you declare. It's how you establish. Ha. God created the world with the spoken word. This power, when you open your mouth and you use it. Hallelujah. So, Father, we bless 2012. We bless this year for the body of Christ. Father, we pray let this be a year of divine favor and blessing on your people. Bless coming in and bless going out. Ha. Bless coming in and bless going out. Bless coming in. All the way coming out. Hallelujah. You're blessed. You're blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You're blessed. Hallelujah.
Can we give the Lord a shout of praise? telling you, that prayer just went out like a heat-seeking missile out of this place. Shoot! There's reverberations going out in the spirit tonight. Hallelujah. Well, I believe that the body of Christ has been considered the silent majority for, what, 40 or 50 years. And my parents, I, my parents, my parents' parents, but for them have been silent and we have allowed things to creep into our society that are ungodly. The only way that we're going to make a difference is to get up, go to the polls and vote. Father, in this place of your glory tonight, Father, we pray that you would shake America again with your glory. We vote, my whole family votes. My daughter just turned 18 and she can't wait to vote. Father, I pray that it would be like the days of old where they would just step foot on the soil and the presence of the Lord would be all over the nation. Father, I pray, let the presence of the Holy Spirit saturate America tonight. Christians need to vote because we don't need the world voting a president in. We need the, the man of God or woman of God that the Lord wants in the house. As we stand in awe of you tonight, in awe of your presence, Father, I pray in the realm of your glory that the individual that you have destined and called to sit as President of the United States would be put into position and into their place. And I don't see how any Christian, anybody who calls himself a born-again Christian can vote for any candidate who advocates the murder of the unborn. Father God, as a representation of the Church of America, God, we humble our hearts before you tonight, and we pray for mercy upon America. We pray blessing on America. Father, we pray revival and awakening in our land, and we pray for godly, holy, righteous leadership in this nation. We have to vote men and women into office who uphold the principles of God. If we don't do that, then we deserve what's coming. And we're to bring in godly presidents, and so we can only do that by voting. We want to be under uh, godly leaders. We want our country to be ran by godly men. Father, I pray for a born-again, spirit-filled president in Jesus' name. Father, I pray tonight, I pray tonight, you see, when, when, when we're in the realm of glory like this, it's the perfect time to loose prophetic decrees and prophetic intercession. It's the perfect time to make it, to make an impact in the spiritual climate and the spiritual realm over a region or over our nation. Because the only thing that's going to save this country and the West, Western Europe and so forth, is a, ma is a major move of God right now. So, Father, tonight we pray, let the light of the Holy Spirit invade the government of the United States. We pray for our leaders as you've given us commandment to. And, God, we pray for the invasion of the light of the Holy Spirit into every area of our United States government. We pray for righteousness and truth. We pray, Father, you would raise up a standard against the enemy. Father, we pray for your blessing to rest on our land. Father, bless the land. Bless us as your people. We desire righteousness in our nation. We come into agreement with the millions watching around the world and throughout America tonight. And we come into agreement that America and the nations will be shaken by the power of God in this generation that we will see an invasion of God into our culture. We will see an invasion of righteousness and truth. 
And we decree your glory over this nation, America. We declare and decree that America is God's nation. One nation under God. We decree it tonight. We are one nation under God. And I pray tonight you would empower your people to invade every area of society with the glory and power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. I firmly believe that we're at a pivotal point in not only our nation's history, but in the history of the world. And it's time for us as, as believers to really get back to the Lord. Our country has got to humble itself. We've got to pray. We've got to seek the face of God. And we've got to turn from the, the wicked ways that we have allowed to come into this, this nation. We've got to turn from abortion. We have got to turn from same-sex marriage. And I'm incensed about these things because they are not godly. And I see so much coming into this country that I really fear that before long we won't be allowed to stand for the Lord and be vocal. I believe very strongly that it's, the time has come for us to stand up for God and use the voice that He's given us. And like I say, if, if we don't, we deserve what's coming. I'm really excited today to be able to share with you about a brand new teaching series we put together just for you called the spirit of awakening you know there is a revival fire god is pouring out in the earth today there are winds of the holy spirit blowing all across the nations of the earth and today we've put this special teaching series together together for you a three cd teaching series and it teaches you about what the spirit of awakening is all about teaches you how to live in the Holy Spirit, teaches you how to carry the glory of God on your life, and it teaches you how to become a spark for revival and a spark for the move of God. Listen, I know many of you watching this program today, you're watching because you're hungry for God. You're watching because in your spirit you're saying, God, I want to see revival. God, I want to see revival in my life. I want to see the move of your outpouring of your glory in my family, in my workplace, in my church. Well, listen, it starts with one. And as you catch the flame of God, you can become a revival starter. You can literally spread the tangible fire of God everywhere you go. So I encourage you today, go online, go on my, on my website, mattsoger.com, onto the resource center there, and there you can order today the new teaching series called The Spirit of Awakening. And you can learn how to become a spark for revival. You can learn how to be so possessed by the Holy Spirit that everywhere you go, you are a walking revival. Don't you think it's time that you walk into that place in the Holy Spirit? I believe it is, and I know it'll be a blessing for you. Order your three CD set today with your love gift of $25 or more. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us online at mattsorger.com. There is power in partnership. You know, in 1 Kings 17, the widow partnered with Elijah, and as a result of that partnership, she experienced an overflow of the anointing in her life that even caused her dead son to be raised to life again. And I believe there's something that happens when you partner with the anointing. You partner with Holy Spirit and with what He's doing in the earth. For all of our wonderful partners that become a part of our family, not only do we cover them in prayer and pray for them every single month, but also they receive a message, a preaching, a teaching in the mail every single month, a prophetic word from the Lord that encourages their faith, that inspires their walk with God. All of our partners receive many different kinds of benefits from our ministry. They get discounts on all of our resources, discounts on our conferences, preferred seating in our conferences. And I just want to encourage you today, consider becoming a partner with Matt Sorger Ministries. Hi, I'm John Paul Jackson with Streams Ministries, and you're watching Power for Life with Matt Sorger. It's not just happening in Colombia. Look her in there, look her in, look her in there. That's the fire, that's the fire of God. That's the fire of God. It's not just happening in India.
The fire of God is here in America too. There's a great awakening coming in America. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. That means that all across America, you're going to see God invade areas you never thought possible. From Main Street to Wall Street, from the White House to your house, from Hollywood to the church in your area, people will be coming back to God in this harvest. Church, we are about to see whole cities invaded with the glory of God. I believe that we're coming in to the next great awakening, maybe the last great awakening. Father, we pray, open up the cities, open up the cities across the nations of the world. I believe that the second that the, that the trumpet of awakening is blown to them and their hearts are awakened to Jesus and who he really is, I believe that it could be the, the greatest revival that we have ever seen. Cities, 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 city -wide. There is a mantle, church, of creative miracles that is about to come upon the body of Christ. Woo! Creative miracles. Let your glory and honor fall on our face. Holy Rest in this place. We come into agreement with the millions watching around the world and throughout America tonight. And we come into agreement that America and the nations will be shaken by the power of God in this generation. That we will see an invasion of God into our culture. We will see an invasion of righteousness and truth. Oh, in Jesus' name. of God. The presence of God is filling this place right now. I'm telling you, there's an atmosphere for miracles. You know, Jesus likes to play tennis with you. Let me see you move that arm again. No more pain. There's an atmosphere of his glory. The change is coming, but it's my change, says the Lord. It's my change, says the Lord. There's an atmosphere for your breakthrough. Right there, right there. Lift your hands up, my brother. Shokarabah, the glory of God's coming on you right there. That's the power of God going right through you. That's the power of God. That is resurrection power. 
There's an atmosphere for a heavenly shift over your life tonight. The devil tried to do everything he thought he could do. But the fact is, you're still here, you're still breathing, you're still alive. He didn't know that you, that you, that you, that you had a destiny in God. That you had a greater one working on your behalf behind the scenes the whole time. For those watching by TV, internet right now, I say receive the power, the lightnings of God right into your spirit in the name of Jesus. Order today the new teaching series called The Spirit of Awakening. And you can learn how to become a spark for revival. You can learn how to be so possessed by the Holy Spirit that everywhere you go, you are a walking revival. Order your three CD set today with your love gift of $25 or more. Call 1 877 God 3131 or visit us online at mattsorger.com. If you're watching today and you say, hey, we would love to have Matt come and do some special revival, glory, prophetic healing, breakthrough meetings at our church, at our conference, I just want you to know that I'm here, I'm willing to serve you in any way that I can. Uh, if you're watching, maybe your pastor would be interested, or if you are a pastor, you'd be interested in having us come in and partner together with you to see the glory of God break through in your church and region. We're here for you to see God's glory touch your church and region. October 18th to the 20th, it's the Limitless Conference with Matt Sorger, John Bevere, and Matthew Barnett. November 2nd to the 4th, Matt brings the glory to Singapore. November 15th to the 17th, Matt is at the Releasing the Supernatural Six at Kingdom Culture Ministries in Ottawa, Canada. Come experience the glory. We need your power. Change your world. Partner with Matt Sorger Ministries.